Okay, this is $400 worth of lumber for the floors, the ceiling, and the walls for the uh, upstairs bathroom project. You know, once you commit to buying the supplies, well, you're stuck finishing the project. So this is the attic room that I want to add a bathroom on. This is how it looks. I finished this myself. And that door to the right there, it's only a two foot door. It goes into the attic. And then I plan to uh, put another door right here that's gonna go out into the uh, bathroom and it'll turn to the left. And then there'll be like an eight foot bathroom over there. This is the before picture of the uh, attic bathroom that's going to be connected to the garage attic room that's the stairway coming up from the bottom of the house and uh, i've already moved some of this ductwork so the room can go up right where the stairway kind of starts up over there so there'll be a step up right here where you go into the bathroom uh, seven and a half inches because I need more elevation to run the uh, toilet drain pipe across the house and then to the left. And uh, I plan to uh, to put my floor joists uh, parallel uh, above these other floor joists here. The kitchen is down below this. So I'm going to try and spread the load out as much as I can. So I made it uh, 19 inches above the uh, main floor joist down there in that insulation. Uh, you need a quarter inch drop per foot for the uh, sewage drainage pipe. So I've uh, used uh, two by fours uh, for my floor joist. I've tied them together with two by fours um, going down to the joists. Um, so the uh, these floor joists will be, uh, well, they're the same as the rafters underneath. Okay, so um, you really have to think about how the weight's going to be distributed. Uh, I plan to have a tub on that other end, a small bathtub, because I was afraid a shower would cause leaks eventually. Um, so we'll just see how it all works out. Uh, you got to look at uh, your load bearing walls and think about all that kind of stuff. So I've been working on the bathroom. I got the door cut out and framed up and uh, started to put some paneling on because the door overlaps the paneling. Got some wiring done. Uh, got the three, got a heater, uh, a light, a heater, and a fan here, a light switch. Um, got the heater, fan, light installed. Got some studs up and the, uh, um, Flooring is still open over there on the left. I decided to hire a plumber to uh, connect all that together. Um, but making good progress, I think. I've uh, been working on the room. I have uh, the insulation done, started to put paneling up. I got the paneling up on the ceiling around the light and the heater fan and the plumbers are coming today so they'll be putting all kinds of plumbing in down here and i uh got it framed up for the tub there because the tub was shorter than the wall so i had to make this frame on the end but uh, making good progress so i wanted to uh, show you what the plumbers did they plumbed it like I planned it. Uh, that's where the 
vanity's gonna go. And then uh, they put one of these uh, vent valve deals here. So they didn't put vent pipes. They put this uh, newfangled valve that vents. And um, that's where the toilet is, right there. And then there's going to be a four foot long bathtub right there. There's not going to be a shower. So they got that hooked up. All right, we've been working on the bathroom. Got the uh, toilet flange put in. We're going to install the vanity and the bathtub, the toilet today. It's very exciting. Hi, I thought I'd uh, make a little video and show you the beauty of molding and how it covers up all the cracks. So if you were doing a project and you had a lot of cracks, you wouldn't feel bad because you know the molding's gonna cover them up. See that big old crack there? It's all gonna be covered by molding. And I'm gonna have sort of a molding that goes across the middle there. And I still gotta fix up something, kind of waterproof thing that goes down over that tub lip. So that's gonna be kind of challenging. And then it's, it's important to try and get your room square. <laughs> Cause the tub is gonna be square. Uh, maybe, that, maybe they just sent me an unsquare tub. Yeah, that's it, that's my story. Yeah, we got, you know, the ceiling molding is going to go up there. And we're going to have some floor molding down there. So I got to finish this back of the tub. We got to figure all that out. Picture of the outside of the bathroom showing all the, uh, the insulation. Um... Uh, I believed in insulating it quite well because this attic gets really, really hot. I can put uh, double insulation on top on that ceiling up there. And, uh, you know, I built it up off the uh, the floor beams. So I uh, I insulated all around the, uh, the gap there to, to uh, insulate the floor. This is where the uh, main uh, sewer pipe comes out from underneath there. And uh, then it goes along and goes over to the ed outside to the side of the house and then drops on the outside of the house and drops down to the sewer line. So this is the bathroom with the molding on. Uh, you can see, you can still see some cracks, but I wanted you to show you that because when I put the caulking in, that will all disappear. Now I put the uh, plastic over the cement board that I put down around the tub, just so it wouldn't rot out. You see there's some pretty good cracks around there, but the, the caulking will fill it up. I have to caulk around the tub there. And uh, it's kind of up there in the corners. Um, it came out pretty good. It's, it's a little weird, you know, cause I didn't do sheetrock, but I kind of like it. It kind of goes with the, the, uh, bonus room that I have over there. So I've just finished the upstairs bonus room and bathroom. Of course the bonus room has been done for a couple of years. This is the stairway. Here's the bonus room. It was a little challenging to build because look at all those angles. <laughs> but you know, molding covers up all the cracks. I didn't want to use sheetrock because I didn't think I could do that very well. That's the Mitsubishi air conditioner. And uh, this is the door that goes to the attic. And this is a door that goes to the bathroom that matches. 
This is the new bathroom. Comes in here. You have to step up because I needed some elevation to uh, to drain the uh, sewage to the side of the house. And there I am, the contractor. Ha! <laughs>